So what I've got here is a diagram, and you can hopefully see this line going down the middle. That's what we call the principal axis. I've actually spelt principal wrong there. It should be AL at the end, principal axis. And this here, this line, is uh, the diagram representation for a converging lens. So it's a straight line, um, and you can see these arrow tips pointing outwards, showing the kind of the, the kind of the end edges of the lens, showing that it's kind of this shape, this convex shape. Right. So that's a converging lens. And I'm going to just use one ray here. I'm going to shine it along the principal axis, and I'm going to put my converging lens as accurately as I can over that point there. All right. So now you can see that a ray coming in along the principal axis. So this is ray one. I'm going to draw a few of these rays. That's ray one. It actually comes out um, along the principal axis. So any ray traveling along and passing through the geometrical center of the lens along the principal axis will carry on undeviated. Okay, so that leads on this one. Let's have a ray that's coming in parallel to the principal axis. Okay, so this is ray number two, and it's parallel to the principal axis. axis. And what we can see here is that it um, will be um, converged towards the principal axis and it passes this point here. Now this point here is called the principal focus. Right, or sometimes just the focal point. Okay, and that one there is um, where ray number two comes in. Right, so I'm actually going to draw that one there. So ray number two is coming out like this. I'm just going to draw that ray there, and I'm going to draw it along here as well, which comes from there. I just need to move that so I can draw that there. So it comes along there, and then it comes down through the principal focus like that. Right, there we go. So that's ray number two. Let's put that back so it returns to its original place. So... Okay, all right, so that's that. And that's how we find the focal point. Let's have a third ray, and this time it's going to come from the same point. So what we're gonna do is say that there's, a, there's, an, there's an object here. I'm just gonna draw uh, like, um, uh, you sometimes see an arrow, but arrows are confusing because we've got all sorts of arrows going on here. So I'm just gonna draw a, a line with a blob and this blob is going to be our object. Let me just get the lens back in the right place. There. So this is what we call the object, and this is the one that the light is coming from. So it could be, you know, somebody's face or whatever, something you're looking at, and you're looking at it through a lens. We want to find out where the image is formed, i.e. where we will see that object if we look through the lens. So it's going to be somewhere along this line here. So this is one of the rays that we can use to um, find the position of the image. And the other one that we can use is a line that goes directly through the, um, the geometrical center of, of the lens. So through this point right in the middle. So it's going to come off the top of the object. The two rays are together at this point. And what we want to know is where are they next together? Because that will tell us where the, um, the image is. So I think that's about right, it's about symmetrical. So line number three is um, another ray. And what happens if it goes through the geometrical center is it will come out in a straight line. It won't be deviated. Okay, so let me just draw that there. And then let's carry that one on, because that actually comes out undeviated. So we're looking at that. All right, and that one comes there. Let's, what we need to do now is just extend this one a little bit so they do actually meet. So extend that one a little bit there. Okay, so we can see that the rays have focused to a point here, these two rays, um, outside the principal focus. Now the principal focus here is this far away, and because of the symmetry of the thing, you know, if we shone light in through this direction, there would be a principal focus on the other side, which would be the same distance away. Now, this one here is about just over nine centimeters, um, so let's do, do another one just over nine centimeters away on the other side. It doesn't need to be too accurate. That's there, and that is also a principal focus. Oops, sorry, principal 
focus. All right, sometimes we call that position F for focus. So let's put that one back. So we can see that both of these rays, that one there and that one there, oops, if I get the, get the lens back in the, in the same position, are meeting at this point here, right? And this point here is what we call the image. All right, and sometimes you'll see it like this, and it comes down from the principal axis this time, meaning that the object, sorry, the image is inverted with respect to the object. Okay, so we got it. We got an object which is outside the principal focus. That gives us an image down here, which is also outside the principal focus, but it's also inverted. So if we were to look through this lens at an object that was outside the principal focus, we would be able to focus an image of that object and it would be upside down, which is how a lot of lenses work. And if, you, you want to try, if you've got some lenses at home, like a magnifying glass or something like that, then you can try that. Okay, so to find the position of the image, we use two specific rays. We use a ray that comes in parallel to the principal axis. That will then come down through the focal point and carry on. And the second ray we use is one that goes through the center, I'm quite drawing it probably then, but through the center of the lens, and that one will come out the other side undeviated, and where those two rays meet is the position of the image. The other ray that we can use, which is superfluous, but you can use it to check if you like, is, um, hang on, let me just get everything back to the right position. Something like that. Is a ray that comes from the object and goes through the principal focus on this side. There, roughly, not quite perfect, but close enough. Um, so now we've got this third ray, or fourth ray if you like, that's coming down from the same position on the object through the focal point, and when it hits the uh, lens, it comes out the other side parallel to the principal axis. Can you see that? So it's kind of like the opposite of ray number two. So I'm gonna call this ray number four. So ray number four comes from the object, through the principal focus, through the lens, and then out, and it comes out parallel to the principal axis. So let me just draw that one. So it's there. It hasn't quite hit the top of the image, but that's because I've been taking the lens away, etc. So we've got that one that comes through the focal point, into the lens, and out the other side there. So that's that. So those are the three rays that we can use in order to find the position of the image in a converging lens. One that is parallel to the principal axis comes through the focal point, one that goes through the geometrical center of the lens carries on in a straight line, and one that goes through the focal point on this side comes out parallel to the principal axis on the other side. So ray number two, this one, and ray number four, this one, are symmetrical, and this one effectively bisects the parallelogram that they form. And an image is formed where the actual rays meet. It's a real image, so if I had a screen here, I would actually be able to see whatever this object is and I'd be able to project it onto a screen and it's also inverted. And that's how you find the position of an image in a converging lens.